how to use Printify AI Image Generator. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Printify Integrated AI Image Generator. It is very easy. All you have to do is to go to Printify.com then you have to set up your account. If you didn't set up your account you have to sign up. If you have an account already you have to go ahead and put your email address and the password or in my case I am going to continue with my Google account. It will be very easy. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, addresses and phone numbers are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Right now we have the dashboard of Printify. I am going to click on the catalog. See, uh, right here you will see the products that are cited by Printify so you can customize and use or design whatever product you want. Right here I will go ahead to this site. Uh, we have the uh, catalog browsing. These are the products that are on uh, Printify. I will wait or search for example for a uh, catalog. Let's go and uh, see whatever we have. We have right here the uh, coffee uh, package. I will click on this coffee for example or magnet or uh, these bags. I will go to choose one of these products. I will go ahead and use this coffee design. I will use the AI image generator on multiple products. Right here we can use whatever coffee or uh, coffee blend for example package that we have. Right here I am going to use this. This looks uh, smooth. The um, texture of the paper and the uh, background is looking smooth. Right here we have the uh, package. I'm going to start designing the product after I have read the uh, specification of the product and I like it. For example, I click on right here. Now in this particular part, I am going to click on this AI image. I will click on it. Here we have the AI image generator. We have this style. You can use whatever style you want. Right here we have the anime photographic, digital art, comic book, fantasy art, line art, analog film, 3D model, cinematic, modeling compound, origami, low poly and isometric. I like more the low poly one. I will go ahead to put the low poly model one. Text prompt here you have to put a detailed description of the image that you want to create. Right here I am going to uh, we have here a 15 or 15 daily attempts. Uh, I am going to put right here the uh, description. I am going to put coffee uh, blend with coffee beans, for example, beans and uh, coffee cup, coffee cup on, for example, a garden. Let's put this and I will go ahead to uh, click on generate image. You can see right here the example of uh, the low poly style. I'm going to generate the image and see what are we going to get. Right here it will take some, uh, some time to generate. Right here we have this. You can put whatever design you want. Let's go ahead and put uh, for example this one this one I like it more you can have this one you can resize it right here we can rotate it and we are good to go right here you can get this one for example let's go with this and you can also duplicate everything that you have uh, I am going for example to put the I can uh, select a variant for example for the product or I am going to uh, let's go ahead and put uh, this. I am. I can, uh, for example, put the width of everything in uh, this. I, uh, for example, let's go ahead and put it uh, and delete it. And I want to select another design, which is uh, this. I'm going to put this design, make it bigger. For example, I will make this design like this. Or you can uh, put uh, the design smaller. And let's say that we are here. I am going to duplicate the uh, image uh, or make whatever I want. Also, I can uh, go ahead also and add another image. 
let's go and add this continu continuation of the image for example I'm going to put it right here you can create a pattern for it like this or choose like this create a pattern for this it is up to you let's go ahead since they have the same color and put something for it let's go like this I am going to put this uh, resize it like this and let's go ahead uh, this is not looking good I will go ahead to remove the first one I don't need the first one this is not okay with me I uh, put it like this this is for the coffee packaging this is one you can uh, go ahead and save the product it is up to you now let's go ahead you can also duplicate or w put whatever you want right here you can uh, flip it you can uh, make the flip vertically right here you can put for example flip, flip to placeholder you can uh, crop it you can also put the pattern or you can duplicate it for example uh, and make the same design i will go ahead and put uh, this design smaller and let's go ahead and select this then i will flip it for example like this and we will be good to go for example i will right here go ahead and duplicate this one also let's adjust it right now i'm going to uh, put like this let's go ahead and try this for example not this but this this is up to you to choose whatever you want let's go ahead and put this and it is up to you it, you have to choose the um, the most suitable design for you I have furnished with uh, this for example catalog or this product I'm going to uh, use another product let's go ahead and choose from the catalog let's go with the uh, you can see for example this on the beauty section you can uh, put whatever you want for example let's go with this uh, gentle face and body cleanser right here I am going to put the design for this right here we have this part we have the information we don't need the information we click on AI I will go ahead and put another for example I will go with the style of uh, isometric right here I will put uh, plants on a white background like this like this and generate the images I will see right here what I will uh, get with the isometric style on this simple description uh, I will see and put it for example right here we have these I can go for example plants I will go a plant only a plant not plants generate images what do we have right here I am not going to put a lot of effort so you can get the idea of how to put things up right now uh, this is not good right here plants or let's say products let's go ahead and put uh, advert advertisement for face cleanser for example like this let's go and see what we will have with this description you have to get the idea how to put the the prompt text and you will get everything good for example let's go ahead and use this this is for example the image that we will get this is up to you to choose for example you can add a text let's go ahead and add a text perfect perfect face with our new face cleanser for example like this and we will be good to go like this I can go ahead and put whatever I want let's go ahead and put I don't need this uh, this text for example let's have and add some graphics you can add whatever graphics you have let's go with this for example you can add uh, some modification to this 
can have you can see right here we have the logo the promo code the store the uh, for your purchase it is up to you to use whatever you want for example uh, now we have the text you can put whatever text you want also I go ahead and this uh, best cleanser I will uh, go ahead and delete this not this but this this I go to the graphics not the graphics but the AI put this again and you will be good to go like this and here it is up to you to choose the I am going to change the position right here I am going to put the where is the uh, the text best cleanser I will put it above the design so it will be shown up on the design and we are good to go for example this is it we can go ahead and delete these these and save the product right here and you will get the uh, product you can see the mockup this is the mockup for example and you are good to go this is very simple you can save it as draft and make whatever you want that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you saw this video useful and hope to see you on the next one